Now, is it now time for these people like trying to represent queer love? Is it time for them to now only hire people in the community or people who they know have an history of being allies to the community to be able to produce these works for us because people are actually tired for fans are actually tired of giving light to these actors who not only doesn't respect the community but are ashamed of the community in this crazy life we live we all need someone to hold a friend to light the way when the world starts to unfold so i've been seeing drama surrounding a bl actor a korean bl actor called hog yoon i think since yesterday and he acted on just for two if you don't know what just for two it, it was a bl that premiered this year and a lot of people were saying it was among the top 10 bls of this year i can't remember if i've watched it or not but I think I've combed through all Korean BL shows. And for some reason, I just can't remember this BL show. I don't know why. It probably didn't tickle my fancy or anything. Now, the reason as to why I'm doing this video is because this BL actor got fame after doing the BL actor. You know, like BL is actually the stepping stone for so many careers in asia like of i don't say so many careers but if someone has struggled the most to actually become famous once you get into the bl industry like you're set and stone like the bl fans and they yeah the bl fans are one of the most loyal fans that will actually support you the most toxic but also the most loyal fans now he apparently doesn't want to do anything with his BL past. And remember, it's just 2024. And he's already fighting to get rid of any of his attachment to any BL. Now, there is a girl on Twitter who has gone ahead to like list all the things that he has done to disassociate himself. Is it a girl? I'm sorry. Like, there is someone on Twitter who has the, has mentioned everything that he has done to be able to make sure that he's not associated with the BL industry. Now, I think the X account is called Nani BL, something like that. I'm going to put part of the screenshots of whatever he has done here. But if you would like to go, because the account has made sure to put receipts to whatever they're saying. So there are images, there are videos there. And like there are so many people who have gone to lens. Now he has a new show coming out. And that show is very unserious because it talks about like, I'm going to put like the video here because I did have the video. But I was like, since yesterday, I did receive the video, the TikTok video of the translation of the kind of show that he will be on next. And I actually didn't, like, I didn't get time to do a video about it. So I'm doing about it now. Now, a lot of these BL actors are 98% straight. Now, thankful, thankfully, these agents have actually started hiring people in the queer community. The problem is that these people in the queer community are always given second leads or third leads like they are never prominent and they're never like the first leads now i do understand that there are actors and they are paid to act but also like they are somehow passing on a message and they are telling people that they are okay and they support queer love but when it turns out that they're not doing that. They they are not just in the community. It's okay not being in the community. But you're not in the community. You don't support the community. You are shamed 
of doing work that represents the community. That's where we have a whole problem with funds. Now, is it now time for these people like trying to represent queer love? Is it time for them to now only hire people in the community or people who they know have a history of being allies to the community to be able to produce this works for us because people are actually tired for fans are actually tired of giving light to these actors who not only doesn't respect the community but are ashamed of the community let me know in the comment section bye